One of the core features of SAS that makes it so powerful is the ability for you to nest things as you're writing them. And now this isn't going to impact at all the way that the, the CSS gets compiled, the way it's rendered, because you're choosing the output option. You're saying I want it expanded or I want it compressed, nested, compact, whatever the option is. This is while you're writing SAS, you want to be able to express how you want the styles to work in a faster way. And that's what nesting lets us do. So let's, I'm using SASMeister here as an example. I'm going to show you why in a minute. So I've got these variables set up at the top that I can use throughout my SAS. Inside of here, I'm styling anchors that are inside of list items. I've said all anchors, if they're inside of list items as the immediate child, text decoration none. So I'm removing the underline. Now, I want to define what I want to do with them when they're hovered over or they're active or they're visited, things like that. So we could come down here, if we were just writing CSS, we would do this. We'd say a colon visited and then define a style. We could come in and say a colon hover and define a style like that. Okay, fine. You can do that in SAS as well, but let's do this a little bit more efficiently. Instead of doing that, we're going to come up here inside of the anchor style and say, okay, this, it applies to all the anchor tags, but I want to say when I'm going to go into an anchor tag and when it's hovered over. Now I can write hover and then apply a style here. Let's say when it's hovered over, we want the color to be our color variable like this. Okay, great. But this doesn't quite work. You can see I am doing nesting. I've got something written inside of the anchor tag, but I've got a problem that there's this little gap right here. This is another feature that SAS has. If I put an ampersand right here, what I'm doing is I'm referencing my parent and I'm saying this thing is attached to the parent, just like this. Anchor with the, the pseudo class hover. So hover is the state being applied to whatever its parent is. In this case, it's the anchor tag. And we can do that for any tag whatsoever. Just whenever you use the ampersand, you're talking about the parent. Now I can create another one here, colon visited, and then use my color gray variable. There it is. So hover is getting this, visited is getting this. If I wanted something, let's say sometimes I'm going to have a span inside of there and I want to make whatever text is inside the span bold. If the span is inside of the anchor tag, the anchor tag is inside of a list item, I want to make the text bold. All I have to do is this. And I'm saying now a span that exists inside of an anchor, if it's the child of an LI, then we can say uh, font weight, let's say 900, make it really bold. Okay, here it is. So with the space, we're saying spans that are inside of anchors that are child elements of the li this is what they're going to get as a style so this is nesting and this is nesting including the parent reference that's what this ampersand is it's the reference to the parent all right let's do one more uh, example i'll use the main footer idea so inside of main or footer i want to do something for paragraphs so we'll say font size I'll use my variable medium from up above. Here we are. So main P, footer P, font size 1.5 REM. That was my medium variable from up above. And it's being applied to all the paragraphs that are inside of either main or footer. Main and footer both get the box sizing applied. The paragraphs inside of either get this font size applied. So that's nesting. That's how it works. Now the reason I'm doing it in Sassmeister is that I've logged in here. There's an option to log in with your GitHub account. I've done that. So I can now come in here under the file menu and click save gist. What this is going to do is it's going to talk to my GitHub account and create a new gist that has both the SAS and the CSS. So let's try this out. If I go save gist, there we go. My gist is now ready. I come in here on my GitHub account, I can see that I don't have anything new. If I refresh this, there it is. 
Sassmeister. So if I click on this one, here's the gist that I just created 14 seconds ago. So my Sassmeister, there's the Sass file, comments added, and the output CSS. So I've got both of those things appearing now. I will leave a copy of this link in the description for the video below so you have it. And you can come in, edit this, experiment with it. But that's how I use Sassmeister to do nesting and use the parent reference. Hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments for the video. Uh, if you found this useful, please share it with others. And as always, thanks for watching.